you guys. So I know it's been a minute since you've seen us here on the channel, but I did want to get on here because the other day I did make this soup called Zupa Toscana. It's a copycat recipe from the Olive Garden and it is so bomb. But I recorded myself making it and, you know, did step-by-step -step instructions. And then I also will put the link to the recipe in the description box. But it is such a perfect soup for like a rainy, cold night. And it was a hit in our house. Even Julian ate soup. And I mean, Julian don't eat soup. He does not like soup. So he murdered it. So I really hope that y'all try this recipe it is super bomb like i said and here are the next few clips are of me making the soup hope you guys like it and if you do actually make the soup comment down below and let me know how you liked it because i know we tow it up So the first thing you want to do is brown your Italian sausage and until it's no longer pink. Now, there's bigger chunks in here and you want to try to get them kind of small because in the soup they're actually kind of small. I, I didn't break it up as much because I spent time cutting up my onions. So this is a whole chopped onion. Then you want three to four potatoes. You want kale, heavy whipping cream. Um, you're gonna need some oil and chicken broth and then garlic so as soon as i think this is done so i'm gonna drain this and then i'm gonna cook the onions and garlic Ooh, it's fogging up my camera and i cook the onions and the garlic okay so i went ahead and put in my olive oil and garlic and onions and the garlic came from my um, jar so i just measured out um, you need about five cloves, so that was a bunch of teaspoons of it. I probably even put a little bit more garlic than I needed to. I don't really know, but then you mix that and you want to do that up until it's transparent. Stir it frequently, don't let it burn. So I'm gonna have to adjust my heat. So after you chop up your potatoes like this size, um, you want to rinse them in cold water and this is going to get all the starch off. So keep rinsing them until the, the water runs clear. So I'm going to pour this out and add more and then I'll show you what it looks like when it should be clear. Okay, so I rinsed it about three or four times. So here's the clear water and that's how you want it to look when you rinse all the starch off. So now I'm going to add my sausage to this mix. Okay. Then I'm going to add the potatoes. And the chicken broth. 64 ounces. Now, I had to make my own. So, it a boil. The bouillons will melt. So, two. And then I'll do the other 32. All right, as soon as, as soon as it boils, you turn it down to a, turn it down to like a simmer. I put that lid on. Bam, I believe for about 15 minutes. Now it's time to add in the kale. You wanna have three cups of kale. Three or four? Um, I can't remember, I like a lot of kale in mine, so this is probably about five cups of kale. So go ahead and add the kale, stir, and then cook for five minutes. After the five minutes, go ahead and remove the pot from the heat so that the soup can cool down a little bit. You don't want it to be scalding hot when you add in your heavy whipping cream. Once the heavy whipping cream has been added, go ahead and stir it up. At this point, if you want to add salt and pepper, you can do so, but it is now ready to serve. And I usually serve mine with some garlic sticks, garlic bread sticks, just like at the Olive Garden. You can use just regular garlic bread. You can serve it up with some salad, however you see fit. And don't forget to top it off with a little Parmesan cheese. Figure it out. 
Is it good, fellas? Yeah. What about you, Jada? Yeah.